everybody. Nice to see your smiling faces back here on the channel. Um, I'm going to go over my old MTM Hydro uh, uh, foam cannon, and we're going to fill it with the Jax Wax Cannon Soap. So I usually, I usually like to use this. I buy this in gallons at a time and just refill my four bottles. Um, very awesome stuff to use. I usually fill my canister about that high. Um, now MTM Hydro has come out with a bunch of newer, uh, newer type spray nozzles and bottles and stuff like that. So this is all up to interpretation. But I basically f fill it up until the water turns about the same color as the bottle. So I'm spraying in quite a bit. So we'll go ahead and let that, let that get in there. I don't know exactly how many ounces I put in each time. The more soap you put into these things, the more it's going to foam. So I'm not, I don't know, I probably put in about four ounces. So if you want that converted down into milliliters, well, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I will put a link in the description to everything I use so that you guys can always look and, and see exactly uh, what the deal is, where you can get it from. So, as you can see, the, the soap is starting to mix with my water. Some guys will fill it up soap first and then put water in it, but when you do that, it gets really, uh, it gets really foamy really fast. So when you're trying to fill up the water, regardless of whether you're dunking it in a, in a, in a uh, bucket and just letting it bubble up and fill up, it still gets really foamy really fast. So I just go ahead and put it in on top and then I put my thumb over it and shake it. So we've put in more than enough soap now. So now I'm going to put the lid back on and it's already starting to foam just from me shaking it with my thumb. So we'll go ahead and shake it up real nice and good. Just shake it up. Oh my goodness. So we'll get this shooken up. All right. So you can see inside there's a there's uh, some soap that just still hasn't hasn't shooken up very well, but my color's starting to change quite a bit. So we're going to see exactly how that foams, how that amount of soap foams in the cannon. So real simple operation. Uh, this will adjust your fan spray, and this will adjust your amount of foam. I keep I keep it turned all the way up, maximum amount of foam, and then you can figure out the fan spray when you get it on the car and you figure out what you're going to do. So let's roll over to the pressure washer. I'll show you how I foam the car. All right, we're back. So all you need to do is take the tip off of your pressure washer wand. Some I really want to get a shorty wand for this, a shorty little handle and a shorty wand, but I have yet to invest, so I rock it out here on the end of my wand, which gets very heavy over time. But neither here nor there, we work with what we've got. So get it on there like that. And it goes on the car just like so. Um, pr pretty easy. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure this out. Now, yes, it does get weighty on the end. It's fairly heavy on the end. The center of gravity is way out here somewhere with the hose. So, yeah, you can hold it out here. I usually hold it back here and just put a little bit more muscle into it. But this is how I foam the car. All right. So, uh, it really does not matter what pressure washer you use. If you're really interested, um, I'm rocking a cheap pressure washer from Home Depot. Uh, it's a Home Light uh, 3200 PSI. I think it's three, three and a half gallons a minute. I don't know exactly. Uh, if I can find it on the website still, because it's an older one, if I can still find it, um, I'll reference it. But I'm using a gas pressure washer. So, I hook it up outside. You can't even hear it running. Um, the only thing you should be able to hear in here is the heater, the fan on the heater. So, uh, really good unit, really cheap. You don't need to spend a lot of money to get a good unit. You don't need a five thousand uh, dollar pressure washer to to clean your stuff. It's just not necessary. So, the the foam it all depends on how well you mix uh, or how you mix the soap. If you mix it with a lot of a lot of water and little soap, you're going to get it runny. If you mix it with more soap, you're going to get it more foamy, actually sticking on the paint. But that's how I do it. Um, stay tuned for more. Smash that subscribe button if you like what you see, and I'll see all of your smiling faces later on.